politics or whatever because it all counts. We all matter in this country. The answers campaign, what do you think? Uh, because um, why I'm actually also interested in it is I've heard a lot of complaints and tales from people that have experienced the inhumanity from some of the SARS officials. We are not saying that some officials or some officers of SARS are not doing well. Like I said in my opening, Special anti robbery Squad, they are doing a noble and a fantastic job sometimes when it comes to kidnapping and robbery suspects. But what I cannot phantom is that a young guy is stopped on the way because he's perceived to look like a criminal. And you ask him to identify himself and he identifies himself or he's with a laptop or you tell him, give me your phone and you check through the phone. You are, you are invading into the privacy of the young man or the young woman as it is. You are checking their phones. Your job is not to check the phone as a police officer. You can't stop me now and tell me, Nancy, please give me your phone. Or because you are with a laptop, you are perceived to be a Yahoo boy. Or perhaps you are with a beard like you, you now and say, oh, Adakole looks like he's like not an a extremist. Rest. Yes, like an extremist. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some of the issues that paint us in a very bad light dovetailing into our security. So as an average Nigerian, I'm working on the work. Perhaps I'm, the guy is just taking a walk on, along his house, or he's going for a job interview, he doesn't have money, he's just trekking, and you're stopping him. What, what sense does it make? When you're not stopping, you tell him, go to the ATM, and he, really <laughs> and he withdraws money. When I heard the one of ATM, I just bowed my head in shame. What do you think? A country as is strong, as, as strong as is policing. If you want to measure the strength of the country, it's not the military might. It is the police, local police might. So, and, and, and police would be as strong as the kind of respect, <coughs> the kind of human value, the kind of uni I mean, dignity, and kind of training they have. Now, all of these, were in this country when a president pay an emergency visit. Was he a president or it was um, maybe a TV station? And they showed where our police are supposed to be trained. What's trained, supposed yes, to be Iko, the yes. biggest yes, facility yes, yes. for yes. them is Ikoyo or Keja. That was some Ikeja. years ago. Ikeja. 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 And we saw what happened. So most of the police officers, where are they trained? For you to be a political economics, where were you trained? So your training will determine, to, a, to some extent, the kind of output oh, you have. Oh, you question. What? Yeah, what, what, what <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm listening. So, so, yes. so what would we put? Your mm -hmm. input and your conversion process with the society at large will determine the kind of output we have. Yes. What do we put in the police? What do we put in the, in the so-called SARS? What are they provided with? Do they have a model? Again, for me, the police institution is not just SARS that needs to be regime, according to the IGP, and I agree with them. But beyond that, the police as an institution, we need to reconsider it. You know, in a country where what do you mean by we, we need to we need we need to rejig it. We need to restructure it because if I can use that language, I mean what the uh, the IGP said they need to reconsider Re -organize. to reorganize is the entire <coughs> is the entire police. Mm -hmm. It's not just the SARS because one the way Nigerians even see police. If you see police on the road, you say, "Oh, these people are here again." Oh, these people are looking for money. It may not be because. I have met very good police officer, and I've met police officer I, they have, I will never wish to meet again in my life. So I've, me, I've seen the two sides of the extreme, and I wonder when I meet some people, I say, are you police? The way they even dress, the way they appear, you will be proud the, to The be police is trying to even reform his image now, but yes. you're seeing even some beautiful and handsome policemen, yes. well-dressed, take, taking uh, pictures, even around yeah. the social media. Yes. I understand that fact, trying to portray their image in a good light, but it yes. goes beyond that, yes. because just like I said at the beginning, we've seen a lot of reports that incriminates, uh, incriminates the, the police, police people. Mm. The last report, NBS, National Bureau of Statistics, the N UNODC, that uh, the police, among others, collect a lot of bribe, mm -hmm. around 420 billion naira mm -hmm. every year. The police was, was uh, was uh, um, we were quick to react. Yes, they were also quick to react. The yes. IGP said, no, my boys, I understand him. Who will say his son is a thief? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the issue is that it goes beyond that. What do you think about the IGP's reaction? We are reorganizing uh, SARS. Uh, SARS, I understand, now we have a commissioner for SARS. The Nigerians are not even satisfied with that. Well, Nancy, let me start by saying that the Nigerian, I agree uh, totally with uh, Paul Alaji, my brother Paul Alaji. The Nigerian police 
Like, if I just ask you a simple question, like, I, I, I suspect that you are Igbo. What's police in Igbo language? It means either to lock or to catch or to beat. What, in Yoruba, what's police? Is, you're correct. Oh, lock, you're locked, you're correct. In you're my correct. own dialect in, 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 in Doma, Ufia, it is to catch. You know, so we need to... I think in my... I don't know if it's in my language now, but they call Ndia Kuoji. That they used to wear police. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> something like There's that. There's something you know? derogatory about how we see the police force police, yes. in this country. So the police needs to do a total restructuring of its image. And even besides, when I even look at it, they are, the emblem of a police is elephant. Who are you marching against? For me, I think it's even wrong in the first place. But anyway, moving forward, not to hold brief for the police, Nancy, just like Paul said, when you look at uh, how the police have been trained, funding is essential. Nancy, I went to a police station somewhere in town, I think in Zone 5. The head of that station was telling me that he built the station himself. Can you, can you beat that? So we have issues of funding. And then when you run into these SARS people, sometimes they even look like, like higher killers. Yeah. The only thing that said, I mean, a policeman wearing jeans, um, armored vest, mm -hmm. carrying AK 47s. Yeah. I think and we really. Young, young people just. Men that are we need. Innocent. We need. We need. The police needs rebranding. It's not always their talk see, of community see, police. If you live in a house, if your office yes. leaks, if somebody was arrested in the police station and I was informed by the boss of the person and said, Paul, can you just go along with me? I don't want to be embarrassed. I said, don't worry, no police will harass you this way because he dressed the way I love to dress. So when we got there, they gave us coaching chairs. I said, please, sit here, sit here. You're so far. You are big men. So they first started harassing. Eventually, the guy knew nothing about it. But you know, that was not even the gist. It was raining when we got in there. Do you know that the DPO's office was leaked? Rain. Well, it, was leaking. it was leaking. And I, I, I now say, sir, I'm sorry, you. He said, hey, this is what we face. I said, no wonder you go to the road, you are on the street, and your boys just misbehave because you have no office you are going back to. <laughs> I can't imagine being in an office that leaks. So if you look at some issues that the police have, that is not going to exonerate police because you had a choice. Yes. That was the job you shone to. Exactly. You made your but policies. But is it also that you're the going duty to of the people? government to make sure that its police are well taken care of and well catered for? It is. It is. We don't, we don't, we don't yeah, because in as much as we're also saying that the police should be our friend, the police should do their That's work, but they should be giving balance. tools. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. where you don't want I, I police. Have, Take I your have. cameras, please. I have. I do know. At least even the police barracks in Lagos and all of that. Uh, the army barracks, I visited army barracks, was it last week? Uh, my editor got married and got uh, his reception. Oh, well, yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. But in fact, I was still <laughs> saying, oh, is this where our soldiers live to? You know? <laughs> but the question is, shouldn't our policemen also be taken care of? Because they're also part of the society. They need to send their children to school. They need also the good things of life and yes. all of that. The so in as much as we are... The structure of the police force is faulty. I give you this. Police Service Commission... The head of the commission that's supposed to check the police was is is, is being led by a retired IG. Can you give that? The people that are supposed to check the police, the police service commission, the head is a retired police IG. So you have all these structural administrative defects. And we know, but we live in denial. That is why we pulled out so many organizations out of police. The EFCC, the EFCC of today out of police. Is it traffic? Uh, tra uh, traffic FRSC, all of them are just what coming FRSC, out of police. Traffic police we know do. something is wrong with the police. Instead of if we had a police officer to it. go now to Yola for investigation, and we know how much it will cost for him to fly, we rather prefer to put the man in a overnight um, in a night bus. bus, and the night bus we may not even pay him completely. And that is why in some states you see police say staff to mm -hmm. this Agbero yeah, staff. So, I mean staff. so, so what, how do you expect somebody who has, you have done staff to, to respect you on the road? Okay, let, let's just take a few comments coming through. Uh, this is, um, okay, if security is not operational, the economy won't be progressing. Absolutely. I agree. Um, let's take this. In fact, some people are started sending me some of their tales uh, as it concerns, as, yes, as it concerns us. Yes, yes uh, this is from... Uh, but that, okay, Niger, which is on uh, Twitter. I wanted to go and meet a client. I was building an app for. So I left my school, Lautech, to go meet the client at Tilori. At the sixth checkpoint, that's, that's when the Wahala started. They searched my bag and saw my PC, that's my laptop, of six years, asked for a receipt, showed him, then asked me to open it after showing him my three schools' ID card, school faculty and department. Man saw the visual studio and saw the code I was writing before putting my PC in sleep mode. He slapped me and accused me of being a hacker, bundled me into the car, 
and drove me to their station. It was my friends that came to bail me with 10,000 naira. Man, I cried. This is just one of the thousand stories. of stories. In fact, there was a day I traveled. I was coming back from the airport. And I saw that, sir, there was just a guy coming. It happened in, in my presence. A guy coming along, you know, when you're coming from the airport just to hit the Huse access. Mm -hmm. And these members of SARS stopped. And they were harassing the young guy on the road and beating him, you know. And I had to, like, stop. Like, what exactly is happening? These are some of the stories that, realities that happen. Do you think that perhaps this way is the way to go in terms of reorganization and... Just one last word from you before we go to other issues. Uh, again, uh, again, <coughs> just to, ba to, to, to balance it, how many of us, the elite, would like to go become a police? You know, I was speaking to some university students, and I asked them, uh, society is bad, society is bad. This is what one of, the, uh, an amb one, uh, one of the ambassadors to Nigeria asked me. He said, you want your country to change, but you don't want to go into public service. So I asked them, how many of you would like to be police officers? The hall was empty. How many of you will li would like to be like the traffic warden that directed us uh, when the traffic light refused to work? N no hand went up. Why? They said they don't just want to be. So it is people who saw police as last option. Some persons actually have seen police as first option, and they enjoy what they do. Mm -hmm. But perhaps, maybe most of the people there are not seeing it as first option. So somebody who, does, who cannot even operate a system He's saying somebody is hacking. Okay. Does he understand? Does the police not even understand, <laughs> understand what, he's what it means? So you can see that most of the reasons why some of the persons were beaten are purely economic reasons. Mm -hmm. What will mm -hmm. I take home? Mm -hmm. So we need to ask, is the take home enough? If it's enough, then there should be a punishment mechanism. Which I, I can know tell the you police. the take home is not enough for police people. Let's also say the truth. Okay, so if the salaries of the police, police are, are not good. enough. So yes. if it's not good and you want the person to secure you, you are paying the person so little and the person is carrying rifle, but that person is supposed to secure you and he sees you in a vehicle, he would believe that perhaps you are one of the persons that have shared the goodies of his office and wants to take so his we, part from you. So, <laughs> so, so we, need, we need that our policemen should be i don't know if it's training or whatever some people are actually calling that they should sack all the policemen bring the military people for six months while they employ new graduates i don't know if that's no, the way to go Nancy, I think, but I, I think that uh, when you look at the police force for the by count of the police force the, the officer kida right the ones that go to training school in Kano and other the problem is the rank and file now as a society when we allow the worst of us to lead the best of the rest of us. Mm. That is what happens. Okay. That we need to take a look at the rank and file. And you and I is the rank and file that we meet every day on the streets. So we need to change that cadre. Maybe put some qualification to it to say diploma. What happens to those there now? That, okay. You retire them, pay their benefits. Okay, that's another. You know, a lot of people are sending media. Yeah, in yeah, fact, stories, yeah, yes. there are stories. And let me just read it before we go to the main issue, which is another kettle of fish. Uh, I remember when SARS operatives forcefully took my friend and I to the station. They threatened to plant guns in the car and make sure we go to jail. I was shocked when the officer said it with confidence. Imagine how many people are in jail for crimes they never commit. You would be even talking to some policemen. When they're speaking to you, the order that comes out of their mouth tells you they've just Stange. finished taking <laughs> baraga or, or whiskey <laughs> or NSC. I think they have the money to do that. But I think we've been able to make our points. Sure. Just like I said at the beginning, police is our friend. Let's indeed be your friends. Don't take me as your enemy this morning. But if you want to, fantastic. Good. <laughs> <laughs>